Hello there internet, Mogwai here and I got another video for you guys today and I know I haven't uploaded in a few days, I am sorry, but honestly, I've been taking a little bit of a break because I am preparing. It's kind of like the calm before the storm in a way because War of the Spark is upon us and I'm going to be a part of the Early Access Streamer event, which is, takes place on April 23rd, which is next Tuesday. Uh, I was invited by Wizards of the Coast. And I'm very excited for that. So, yeah, my main focus or attention has been drifted to the new expansion coming out and all the different decks that I'm going to build around it and everything. And obviously, I'm incredibly hyped. But at the same time, it is hard for me to, like, get motivated to actually build new decks at this point because we're just, like, a few days away from the new set. So, uh, the remaining videos that you're going to get throughout, uh, you know, these few days are just going to be old decks that I've uh, built and incorporated and showcased on the channel English so today we're gonna play uh, we're gonna showcase uh, a very nice best of three series that I had to end yesterday's stream with the Jeskai 2k18 uh, deck list that is actually the one that was utilized in the Kyoto uh, Grand Prix it made top four over there and a one of my favorite decks uh, from the season like I think these last uh, you know few days before the expansion I'm gonna return to my favorites because, as you can see, I built a lot of different decks throughout this, uh, you know, standard season. And uh, there's actually quite a few missing here because I don't have, like, I needed a space to build more, right? So this is not the entirety of, like, all the different decks that I've showcased on the channel. And I've, I've loved so many of them. Like, I have so, like, it's been a fantastic standard metagame, honestly. Like, people can say what they want, but this standard has been absolutely uh, great and... I'm very excited and also a little bit spooked as to, you know, what we're going to get with War of the Spark because there is a lot of obvious power coming through that set and this is important to know because Ravnica Allegiance had a lot of very key cards and had a overall a set that really shook up the metagame but it wasn't really as apparent, like nearly as apparent when, you know, we previewed the cards before actually trying them out right like we had the entire set information and it didn't seem all that powerful uh, and it turned out to be you know more than uh, what many expected but in this particular case with war of the spark like everybody knows there's kind of there's like a lot of op shit coming so i i'm a little bit because uh, like i said i i like this standard metagame some people don't like it but i'm it's been I, I absolutely loved it personally, and uh, I am a little bit concerned that shit's gonna hit the fan, <laughs> and we're gonna be getting just some crazy power level uh, spike. But uh, yeah, maybe maybe I'm wrong. Uh, I don't think I am though. So we're we're gonna see how things pan out exactly. And like I said, I'm definitely uh, looking forward to it. But you know, looking back uh, on you know the standard that we've been seeing. Definitely a lot of really good memories. Uh, I really like the AMC deck. Uh, I actually tried Soul Tide Control at the beginning and thought I was hipster about it. I like the Timur uh, pod list as well. Uh, obviously, Pig Reanimator, one of uh, the biggest hits on my channel. <laughs> the, the Liliana Infinite Mill combo. Dovin's Antiquities. I love this deck, which I did update for uh, Rise of the Machines. No, I actually played that deck again. Yeah, this is also one of my favorite decks. Obviously, Good Stuff Jund, Midrange Esper, which I featured a lot. Uh, I, I used this to climb a lot uh, a few months ago, though I stopped playing it for a bit. And just a lot of really good stuff here. Rakdos, Grixis, you know, even though I, I tilted to Oblivion with Grixis in general because of the inability to deal with enchantments. Uh, I actually liked Peter's version of uh, Soul Time Midrange a lot. Gruel Smork was fine, Excalibur was okay, Grixis Dragons was super fun, and uh, Dragon Trump was, you know, the absolute meme, and I loved it for that. And overall, uh, Abs and Midrange is the final list that I actually built on this channel. I also like this one a lot too. So a lot of really good decks. I'll, I'll be deciding which ones I showcase. Like I said, I am uh, rambling a little bit here, but, you know, I think uh, it's important to kind of like talk a little bit about these things and also let you guys know why there haven't been videos these past few days you know and this break has done me some good i also been playing some other card games uh, in particular way uh, warhammer age of sigmar uh you know while i'm waiting for the new expansion and it's been a very nice you know a nice fresh uh game to kind of like uh chill out for a bit and get ready for like i said the big hurricane that is war of the spark so this is the deck that i'm going to be showcasing to you today i have showcased this in the channel before like i said it is the 
uh, Jeskai control deck that uses treasure map to ramp into Niv Mizzet. Papa Niv, as I like to call him. It is a very solid, very fun deck list to play. What I like to call the hipsters control. And it is easily one of my favorite decks this season, especially for the best of three format. I really, really enjoy it. I like the sideboard too with the Legion War Boss to surprise Esper Control and potentially take them down quite easily. And overall, it is uh, very rewarding to play. So I'm going to showcase, like I said, a series that I had against uh, Is It Phoenix, which I think was really high quality magic and overall good quality fun. And that's where I'm going to end it. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And stay tuned for, again, the daily uploads coming back. Yeah, I hope you're excited for the Spark. Let me know what decks you are going to try out first and what cards you want to see on this channel first as well. Yeah, fucking love ya. I'll see you around. Oh, the op, the op, the op, the op. No, no, no. Oh, we still have the ugly part up. Ah, fuck. Tell me earlier, Crypto. Useless. Am I actually gonna keep this hand? <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> I was I was this close. Um, I have I already have a lava coil and a deafening clarion, so I'm not gonna keep that uh, Shivan fire. Just in case, you know. Though now I regret it because I see an island, and I I think this could very well be mono blue tempo. So I again I regret it. Okay, it's not mono blue tempo, but he already sent a bird. He already sent a goddamn bird. It's the graveyard. That is not good. We have lava coal though. <laughs> what is that anime Pepe? I, I like that anime Pepe a lot actually. But but you need some Aigao girls. Not not like a laughing one, but you need you need one, you know, with like the uh the totally realistic expression. You know, with the tongue out and like, you know, tears of pleasure and stuff. Keeping it PG here at the Mega Magwai channel, as always. Ah, ah! Well, I, I kind of wanted that. It's fine, I wanted that. Double bird. That is uh, kind of spooky. He's going for the radical idea now, though. Does he have another one to discard? Did, did he get the nut throw? <laughs> what what is that no no don't not that that third one looks like a lollicon no don't do this no that's just wrong any guys watched uh shield hero Oh, that's Megumi from Konosuba? I, I know who that is! I watch Konosuba! You asshole! Okay, we're getting hit here for quite a bit. And, uh, ain't nothing we can do about it. I mean, we... Yeah. It's fine. It's not fine. We have the absorb in case we really need it. We're not gonna counter that though.
I don't know, like, something that I don't understand is why... Why it fucking auto-taps Treasure Cove. Like, the auto-tap system with Treasure Cove is so messed up. Okay, there you are. There's Papa Niv. I just need to live for a little bit more. Okay, good, good, good. Good. Time for plan B. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. You. And you. <laughs> I'm gonna do this first. In case this man has a negate. Okay, now we can do it. Actually, I'm gonna keep that there. Did I? Head explosion incoming in three, two, one. Nice, I got the timing right this time. <laughs> Oh, all right. Um, we definitely want the lava coil. My question is, do we want the Legion War Boss? At this point, he's, he's probably taking out his uh, his like single target his shocks. No, he's probably keeping them for the damage anyways. So Legion War Boss just doesn't do anything here. I do like Sheevan Fire though, because it just it says no to the Electromancer. Um, I also like Lyra Dawnbringer. And I also, um, I also like negate. The question is, will he keep, uh, deputy attention can be pretty good too. Deafening Clarion is probably unnecessary. I tried the, uh, deputy attention actually. I could also put in some negates. Set of the wreckage is good. Expansion explosion, we can drop down one. Maybe just a strike is unnecessary. Maybe deputy is unnecessary. There's a two of maybe, it's fine. Ooh, ooh. Deputy attention is like a last resort sort. I don't want a three of, but I I definitely expect him to not run lava coil now. I think he's gonna take out lava coil, but keep the she uh, the shocks. Maybe I'm wrong though, but I do think that's how it's gonna go. I mean, this is a a pretty wonky hand, but at least I know I'll potentially draw right. I'm really off with the cliff top retreat though, because I don't have the land to check it as of right now. And if he drops Electromancer, okay, don't discard Phoenix. Okay, bird, early bird again. Bird is the word. Come on, give me lands, there you go. Ah, 
Oh no, fuck. could top deck into something like a, a deputy detention, so I'm not gonna... I can't, um... Can I afford this? If I can somehow survive this turn. Maybe it could be my only shot at this point, so let me actually keep it. Because I still have the chance of, uh... Find the shiva and fire. All right. If he's got two out of hand damage, then he's got us. Lyra, save me. If I can come back from this game, that would be insane. Would have been an amazing draw now. We we're close. Should I go Deputy Detention or should I go Deputy Clarion? Right there. Alright. Ok, 
Okay, this hand works. As long as we can make it to Niv Mizzet, we should be fine. We have the answer for the Electromancer as well and Shivan Fire. This hand is looking solid. There we go. I'm gonna keep that set of the wreckage. Sucks. One one bird down. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go nib until I can guarantee that I can protect them. I'm not under immediate pressure as of right now, and I do have settled the wreckage. If he has a counter spell, then at least I get that out of him. Play Papa Niv. With the negate enabled. Oh, that's a problem. Pop that, or am I gonna? I'm gonna draw.
Okay, I'm being super focused here because this, this match is uh, rather intense. I, I would want to negate this. Birds. Check this shit out. Oh my, what she da do? <laughs> Got him down. Got him all down. <laughs> That's how you do it. Oh, the timing, like not not zapping that down, just leave it at one health so that I went for the Shivan Fire, I could pick it off. That's why I was like so focused, making sure I didn't fuck up the sequencing there. <laughs> 